All right, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to be playing some blitz chess game, but as you can see here, we're gonna be using the wheel to decide what opening we're gonna play. And I don't expect to win any of these games because some of these are just gonna be ridiculous and I'm not gonna be that good, but we're gonna spin it to see what we get for our first one here. Please do not be one of the worst ones. I actually don't know what's gonna be the worst. Oh, all right. So we get the A and H pawns. So basically, the first two moves, I have to push my A and H pawns forward one square. So this hopefully isn't that bad, because this actually could be useful. So let's switch over here to the other screen. Let's find a game, and we're going to go for the A and H pawns. So we get white. So our first move has to be A3, and then H3 as our second move. And our opponent just pre-moved everything. So let's go for like maybe a London here. This might just be a good way to develop and play quickly here we're gonna go for a trade here with the bishops let's get our knight out this is basically this is probably one of the best ones i could have gotten because i can basically play normally i'm just down a couple moves with my original setup let's push the c pawn um he pushes his let's push our e pawn let's trade everything he's probably going to trade into this um, let's get rid of that knight. I can't take here because of this. Let's, let's do this. If he takes, I'm just going to take with a knight. No, he doesn't. Let's go here. We're targeting this B pawn. So he protect himself. I want to keep this bishop. So I'm going to back it all the way up. This guy is playing very quickly. Do I want to defend with the queen? I think so. We're going to defend with the queen here. Could push this A-pawn even further and just go try and attack. Um, I'm going to jump in with my knight. Maybe go for this. If he takes, I just I take with the bishop, I think, yeah. He's just going to do this, probably. I could reroute here, but I don't think that's a good idea. Actually, I can't go there anyways, I just get taken. Um, let's slide all the way back. His knight doesn't have control over too many squares right now. But this guy is playing fast, so let's try to catch up on time. Let's just block that off. So he's targeting it, but he's not really doing anything. So he wants to open here. So maybe we go... Um... Let's go here, and maybe... Go for this pawn. We're also threatening here. If he ever does something like this, I might go here. I'm not sure. I just want to keep an eye on this pawn. So we're going for that. So I'm going to take. I might go here. Slide back. Let's double our rooks here, maybe. Might be a good idea. No, so he wants to attack here. I think I'm going to defend from the side. If you remove this rock, rook off of here, I'm going to go for this pawn. We are down a lot on time, because he is playing quickly. So we're going to try to play fast here. Also, he did hang his rook, so I can take it. If he doesn't see that, I totally missed it. Um, let's just take with that. Rook, trade everything. It's still hanging. He's probably going to see it now, though. I didn't originally, unfortunately. Because I'm blind and... Not thinking about anything right now. Yeah, so we saw it there. So, he's going for this pawn. I might just back up here. Let's park my bishop here. I'm defending this square. As well as keeping my bishop protected. I could go for a trade of queens here. Because I am up a pawn. Um, doesn't really have any threats right now. Let's go for a trade. Here. I'm also threatening to take with check. So can I I can take with check first, right? I can take with check. Because then I can Um I can do this, which is kinda looks funny. But we're just gonna I think this is a bad move, but we're gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go here and it defends this square from a check with the knight. But he can do that. So 
So if I go here, check. I think I'm safe. Here, back. Let's go here. I mean, I'm going to slide my queen over here probably. Because this is defended by the bishop still that I parked there. So yeah, we're going to do this. I'm going to keep, keep this queen away. Um, let's go here. I might go back. If so, I'm, I'm glad to repeat. If I can even draw one of these games, that would be huge. We're just going to take. And then we're going to attack the rook. Go for this pawn. Can't take because it's defended. Let's attack the knight. And let's attack the rook. Let's go. Let's bring the king. I undefended the pawn on accident, but that's fine. Let's go here. And that's me. Oh, he was playing a little too quick there. Wow, we got a win there. All right, let's go for a another one. Let's remove that, and then let's go for a second one here. Let's see what we get. So I think that was actually probably the best one to get. We get oh, the King's Gambit. <laughs> I have no idea what the theory is for this. So let's switch back to our other thing here. Let's go for a second game. And King's Gambit, what is it for black? Is it the same thing? So it's this and then this. I don't know any theory here at all so we're just gonna do like knight f6 move the d-pawn maybe and then try to win this back is it like the same as the queen's gambit except just like slid over more let's go for this is he gonna do this wow that's aggressive so i'm gonna park my bishop here i guess and then I might castle long. Let's put the queen here. Slide the bishop out and get the knight out and let's castle. So he goes here. So I think we're going to do... Yeah, this is bad. I have no idea how to play the king's gambit. If we go here, we can just take and take. I can't block with anything without having to move. So let's do that. If he goes here, I can't take. I'm just going to push because if I take, I lose this. Bishop staring here. Yeah. So let's push because I don't want to take. I lose everything immediately. That is a fork he just walked into. Actually, he could go here. No, he can't because then I can just take. That's a fork. No, it's not. So... I can't threaten this anyhow. Let's go here. So we're defending the rook. I'm still threatening the bishop. He can't go here now. I'm defended. Let's maybe get this knight out and then we have two attackers here on this pawn. Just so we can get ourselves out of danger. So now we have two attackers here. If he decides to back up, he actually can't really anywhere. So we're going to take. And then we're going to take this pawn. So now the queen has to back up or we get a queen trade and probably win this pawn here too. He gives a check. I think we're just going to block like this. Oops. Now we're threatening the queen and he has to go back somehow. Um, let's defend this pawn again. Let's maybe slide the bishop here let's bring the king here well, actually i don't know about that i don't want to pin myself i could go here and here I might go h5 h4 let's go for that actually i could have protected myself here maybe this pawn no i think we're fine because it's only two attackers i think we're good for now 
let's just let's take that let's trade I'm pinning myself but I'm also threatening this check at some point do you want to take with the bishop yeah sure we're threatening this rook now he doesn't take let's defend So if I take, he can take with check. Back up. I think we're still okay. If he takes with the queen, I just take. Um, so he's threatening to have a discovery here. Doesn't really do anything. Actually, let's threaten the queen first. I don't think this is the right way to do this because he's on a dark square so he can't do any checks with the bishops but I can now take this pawn and then I might bring the other rook over here I am defending this square yeah but I am worried about that so I can do it this way and defend like here Okay, so I have to do this. I'm protecting. I lost my rook. I'm just trying not to get mated. Um, let's just try to trade. Ah, I got mated. Frick. Oh, that's so hard. Actually, I want to game review that quick. Because that was not a good game. I want to see... I had a 48% accuracy. <laughs> There's so many mistakes. Yeah, of course. This is like losing immediately. Yeah, I'm actually fine here if I go knight f6 and just attack the queen. That was a blunder. It actually didn't want me to do the fork. It wanted me to play knight f6 again. It really wanted knight f6. I should have done that way earlier. We were even here. I was winning in this position. Not anymore. Even. Yeah, and then I shouldn't have taken. I should have just played e4. Which, that makes more sense. I should have done that. And then I was actually winning right here. If I had played played uh, queen g3. Because I block off the line of sight of the queen. But I missed that. And then he had mate. Yeah, that sucks. Alright, let's remove the king's gambit. Let's go for one more here. Please do not be something bad. I don't know what's going to be the worst one out of all of these. No, the Pong Cloud. We have to play the Pong Cloud. Frick. Oh. All right, let's switch back. Let's switch to our other screen here. Let's go for another game. I don't expect to win this one. All right. Pawn E4. Pong Cloud. Is the opponent going to do it back? Oh, he's not nice. All right, let's defend the Pawn. Let's take. Um, let's go here. Because if he takes, I'm already. I'm already doing the bong cloud, so I don't mind taking with the king. Um, let's defend, because he's going to go for this. Let's go for a fork here. Stack the bishop. Um, let's just trade. Go here. I can always back up with a knight. Just have to watch. I have to push my a pawn or something to protect. He can't attack me because I give this check and win a pawn and potentially get out. Um, let's actually give that check because then he can't castle. Let's start bringing the king. He's going to go here. He's going to go f5. Yeah. And now he's going to go g6. Let's just bring Let's bring the king. Let's just go. Go all the way up. Maybe go here. Um, let's bring the rook up so we can always do this. I'm not sure. Yeah, and again, I can't go here. I have to go here to defend. Okay, so we've traded into an even endgame. 
but I feel like my king's way more active because I'm totally past all of his pawns. And then I can get my knight in here, potentially. So let's go here. Let's go here. I can't take this pawn now. It's defended. But... Let's go back. He might try to kick me out. Um, let's protect this square, actually. I'm not sure if this is a winning or losing endgame. My king's more active, but he might get a pass pawn here. That's what I'm worried about. If I go here, I could potentially win this pawn. Not really, because he could push and... Uh, let's go here. Because I can get one of these pawns. Nice. Alright. The king can't get in, but he's going to do this now. Can I take? So if takes, 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 I think that's actually fine for me. Because now I can just push my ape on. I might have been able to do that sooner. But. So take, take, push, 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 push. Yeah. Oops, I didn't take first. Oh no. Oh no, I just calculated that whole thing. He still it's fine, but I just calculated the whole thing. Is this check, but then he is this, and then here, here. If I go here, there's no more checks. I think I'm safe. I might just flag him. Oh, that's not a good move. Can we win? Do we win? After a bong cloud? Oh, he's not gonna. He's not even gonna play. He's gonna just let his time run out. That is not good. We're gonna win at the bong cloud of all options, and that's time. Wow, he doesn't even play. Wow, you won the Bong Cloud game. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any ideas for the future. But I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.